Hello guys, Susan here. So today is another video of the series Wim Tips and Technique. Today I'm going to show you how to use GDB for the debugging your program right inside Wim, or so-called term debug. It's this to support since the Wim version 8.1 or around that kind of thing. So before that, uh, if you execute Wim version and you can check that if you have this type of thing, it is, it's not required, but it's gonna make it, I think it's much more um, better because if you watch my first video of this series and I tell you about the command term and it's gonna spawn another terminal window right inside it and that's gonna help a lot and it's gonna be used for this case as well for the GDB to spawn multiple of window right inside it. Yeah, so, so let's check that you have 8.1 and terminal feature enable by default and if you have these two you have it you have term debug built in feature of this bucket okay and for the reason that we're gonna show you about the GDB so it's involved the sample project about the, the, the things we need to deal with I'm not going to go deep down too much of the detail about how to use GDB but that's gonna be enough to get you launch the GDB right inside Vim and execute some um, common commands and get used to this kind of feature. So let's jump right in. Um, I already uh, create the sample project, built the, the things for you. So we're gonna have the client code here that is local and also main. And we're gonna link this kind of thing to the external shared library that's called lib. I already built into a share object here, share library object files, and that is the this these two things, these two source files is the source code of the external library itself, and the whole thing is built as the executable called a dot out. Let's see the content of the file and see how to do things. So this is a simple case; it's not complicated. In the main source file, it's going to include the lib.h, this is the for the share library one. Local.h for our client code. We define the local variable i and then send it in to compute. This function define and why by the share library itself. Local compute by our client code, our code, and then just print it. Okay, so let's see the local. Local compute is just a function that we define. And it's just additional with 100. For the share library case, it's just called compute and it's gonna additional by 5 and return it. Okay, so let me close off this thing and then we're gonna start from the top, edit the main.cpp. Okay, so we now editing the main entry point of the program. What you're gonna do is that. This is the required step every time you open the file for editing in Wim and you want to start the GDB or term debug. Okay, I'm gonna type in pack add. This pack add command is for loading a plugin. It's gonna involve setting runtime part as you might usually see in the Wim.rc file, um, Wim files on your home folder. And I already checked for the term debug that is it's not existing anywhere on your local system. That's why I can see I cannot find it. And that might be the reason that this is the plugin that is built in into the wind itself. So you may have to do this step every time. So you type in term debug. It's gonna load, you're gonna set, and now you can execute the little wind command to launch the GDB itself. Term uh, debug and followed by your executable file that is added out. And now it's going to spawn additional window right inside the window. So we're going to see here on the laptop one, this is the GDB window, GDB command window. On the right side, uh, this is our source file. And on the lower left one, this is the output window file, output window from GDB. I want to expand the uh, command window a little bit. So expand 
control the build and then underscore okay. and then it's gonna bring it up a little bit so control the build and minus control the build minus do this the build time yeah that's it and before i gonna start the debugging process i'm gonna set the breakpoint um the good things about using gdb right inside Vim in this case is that you can jump right to your files and navigate it in your Vim way maybe you have the plugin called control p you maybe you have nerd tree so you can launch it and then you can navigate to that file and set the breakpoint in more visual way rather than you need to like uh, uh, use the gdb command normally you're gonna do break and then find name and then follow by the, the line number or something like that it is it's, it's not visually enough and not maybe not convenient enough so yeah using in this way is provide that and this is the come with uh several of the command related so let's see i'm gonna want to break at this line okay i'm gonna break at the, this line number 10 i'm gonna just do go to command and then type break uh, and be aware that this is a case sensitive it needs to be b in the capital not b like this this is break it is not going to be recognized it needs to be break yeah and then you're gonna see that a little highlight of the red line in front of the line number is already marked so this is the first break the number of that is this our first break point here so okay let, let's go let's go to another client code that we have called local.cpp so we're gonna control O this is gonna open the nursery on the left side then I can navigate to local.cpp and just close down the nursery a little bit and I'm gonna break at this line as well so I do the same go to that line and then break and you can see here the break part is number two and it's already set let's do the same for the external whatever let's try Okay, then break. Oh, is is it says something that error uh, cannot detect something around about the symbol formation or something, and that's reasonable uh, fine and proper behavior because at the share object is not load just yet because if you think with the share library for your program is need to load it first in order to know what kind of uh, symbol information is there so we can fix this by using the command inside the gdb so type in add symbol file and then follow by the that share library object files or object file or any additional object file you want to load so we will know that those symbol beforehand before we start because we want to set the breakpoint right so, break. so it's going to add as that add symbol table from file or so yes or not yes okay and then we can jump right back to the share library file again and then we do the same break and now you're gonna see that okay we can we can add the breakpoint now because the information is there and gdb used the debug information to associate with the line number for, for the those source file so be aware an important thing is that you build your source code with hyphen g flat because it's going to add debug information there both for your library and your main source file yeah okay let's go back to the main let's go back to the main and maybe i want to break at this line as well the last one okay now we we're ready to start now and type run and you can see that uh, okay. it's gonna break first at the compute function on the share library one and as well we can uh, launch the built-in GUI mode inside the GDB so the same as if you execute GDB uh, externally not inside Vim so we do something like TUI enable yeah. I'm not going to go too deep that too much detail because this is about the GDB specific now but 
a little bit involved for this case because this is yeah. And we can send chain the way up into both of the source code and also assembly output. And you can use up and down arrow to navigate to this type of thing. And yeah, and also you can use another kind of like a GDB command here in for RGS to use the argument. This case is V because the V is sent into the function here. Yeah, V two minus uh, additional bypass will be return seven. And yeah, we can go next. We can go uh, next to step. Right. Um, continue. Yeah, next is a step to another instruction. Continue. We continue. So the the thing is that because the, this is support by Win, we can opt in to use the TDB command like this next continue or con or something like that from there or we can use go back to the source file and then go to the command mode and then type in a uh, step or maybe continue like this so oh no oh, this should continue continue oh type it wrong yeah the same so it's it's, it's kind of like the feature that provide by two sides of this, so you can decide which one you're more comfortable to work with. So in, in my case, I am most likely um, gonna mostly gonna use break from the command here because we can can navigate in the navigate to the source file, the win way, and go back to the CV to do another kind of thing. So it's up to you. So continue. And yeah, and now we break at our another client code local compute for us. Then just just continue or maybe we can break point. Where is this now? So yeah. yeah. So it's called from the main, it is at local as well. Continue. Continue. So now we add the uh the almost the last line now. So continue again and you can see here now the lower left window this is the output that it should be so it's 107 so it, this is the thing that you're gonna output from this program and yeah that that that's all of what you can do um, so you can go on yourself deep down to the GDP so it's the command and whenever we finish with this we can quit and it's gonna close all the GDB related windows and we can quit from the editing files. And also I need to remind you again that when you already start to edit the file and you want to start another debugging session, you have to do that pack add again. If we just jump right into term debug and then edit out, it's not going to be recognized that command. You have to do pack add every single time. Turn the path and then get it out. It's gonna start to work on the top again. So okay, I guess I hope this one gonna be useful and interested to you. Good luck and until next time.